Hi, welcome to this video on the OT printing program. My name is Brianne and I'm a part of the occupational therapy team here at the Calgary Catholic School District. Today's lesson is lesson number three, which is on nutcracker letters. We will cover printing warm-ups, multi-sensory printing practice, and how to form the nutcracker letters. To warm up our shoulders, we are going to do arm circles. Do large ones, medium ones, and small ones, and make sure you do both forwards and backwards. Next, to warm up for our fingers, we're going to do finger flicks. Make sure that you flick each finger multiple times so that they're nice and ready for printing. The nutcracker letters are F-I-J-L-N-T. When introducing these letters to children, use the show, tell, do, and try process. First, discuss the letter name and sound, then show the letters by modeling them using large movements. Next, tell the child how to properly form the letters by modeling the letters, but this time verbalize how to print the letter. Next is do. Air draw the letters to your child or student by standing with your back to the child and draw a large letter in the air with your pointer finger or with your alligator chompers. Have the child stand to air draw and verbalize out loud how to form the letters using their own words. Repeat this twice with their eyes open, and then once with their eyes closed. Now for try, incorporate multi-sensory practice into the lesson. Print the nutcracker letters on the chalkboard for a student. Next, have the student wet a piece of paper and use it to trace over the letters on the chalkboard. Then, have them use a dry piece of paper to trace over the letters. Lastly, have the child use chalk to try printing the letters themselves. If you have a whiteboard, then you can get the child to erase the letters on the whiteboard and then get them to print the letters themselves. Another free game to practice these letters is to do tic-tac-toe, but instead of using X's and O's, use the nutcracker letters. When forming these letters, it's important to be consistent with the formation to reinforce efficient printing. When printing the lowercase f, start at the top, make a candy cane hook, and then put a little line across the middle. For the lowercase i, start at the top, a little line down, and then do a dot. For the lowercase j, start at the top with a big line down, and a hook, and then a dot. For the lowercase l, start at the top, and bring the line down. And then finally, for the lowercase t, do a straight line down, and then a line across. Have your child or student print each letter five to 10 times with their eyes open, and then have them print the letter three to five times with their eyes closed. Then have them circle their best letter. Letter repetitions will help your child develop these letters into their muscle memory, allowing their printing to become smooth and automatic. Use the Nutcracker Letters Practice Sheet to have the child printing their Nutcracker Letters. Thank you so much for listening to this video and please continue watching our video series on the OT printing program with the Calgary Catholic School District.